In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some of the highlights from my own grade 7 AAU basketball team. So let's get down. Let's check this out. Okay, so in this first clip, I really want to break down what Andrew did here. So basically what was happening was this man was driving down towards the basket. This was a two-on-one situation. And Andrew did a fantastic job of defending this. He was able to cut off the lane to the basket for the man who was attacking because that's the direct threat that we had. And he also had his hands up in the passing lanes. This is fantastic defense because that forced a bounce pass to that man's teammate and Andrew was able to recover quick enough to be able to basically grab that ball away from him or at least poke it free. At that point we were able to get that ball back and Andrew was able to pick up that ball as a steal and the next thing he did was fantastic. What did he do when he picked up that ball? He had his head up looking for an outlet pass. We had an outlet man and he was able to get that ball over to him really quickly. The only thing I would say is just to lead the pass instead. That's all. Here we see see some really great defense and some really good help defense even though it was from the wrong side. So the thing that's really great what Andrew does here is he's able to slide with his man. He's able to keep his shoulders square with the man that he's guarding and he's able to take one quick running step and then he's able to stay with that man. However, we had a help defender come over but it was from the strong side. The weak side man should have come over. That left that man on the strong side open to cut. However, what we seen at this point was it was good for Jermaine to be able to get back. He's a very fast player and he was able to still contest that shot. Ethan also came down as well, which was a very smart play. Andrew was able to then stay where he was. He's able to get that ball from the rebound and look what his head's doing. He's looking up for the outlet pass. He's also keeping that ball high. He was able to get it to his teammate to get that ball down court. Ideally, however, we should have outlet men on the wings so that we can have a better visualization of what's happening down court. This next one is a nice dribble handoff play that we run. Armin's able to get that ball and now it's basically one on three as we can see here. He's got three eyes on him and technically multiple eyes on him as well over here. Armin's a really smart player. He notices that, that this man, his main defender, has his body squared up towards that right side. So Armin's able to use that defender's momentum to go back the opposite way. Very smart move. Armin's able to then attack that gap between those two players, and he was able to go one on three for that nice left-handed layup. By the way, he's a right-handed player. Here we see Andrew once again playing really strong, tight defense. He does get beat. This is obviously a very fast player. However, right here we have Nate coming over over to play great help side defense. He did get slightly faked out by this fake, but because he was in that player's way at the beginning and might have been able to get a little bit of that ball right there, he was able to basically contest that layup to miss. And then after he contested that layup, he stayed in position to get that rebound. Fantastic job. And then after he gets that rebound, watch what he does, watch what he does, watch what he does. He keeps that ball high so that it doesn't get stripped from him. And then he's able to get that outlet pass before we go on to the next clip. We have an outlet man right here and here as well. But he's able to get that outlet pass to Andrew, which is fantastic. This next clip this is something that I teach all of my players is to read defenses right here. We'll rewind it just a bit. After Armin passes that ball off to Ilya, Ilya has his head up. He has not dribbled yet. We are looking at the defense, looking at our offense, and looking at what we are trying to do. He sort of travels, but it wasn't called. And at that point, he draws that double team, and reading defenses is key. Watch Armin. Armin's in the corner, and as soon as he sees that his man's left him to double team the wing, he cuts towards the basket, and there's no defenders who are in his way. And because of that, Ilya's able to get that ball over to Armin, and Armin's able to finish with that layup. What a fantastic sequence right there. Something that I'm really strong and really vocal about is trying to pressure the ball handler before he gets to call the play. This way, while he's trying to call that play, you're pressuring him and he can't get that play off. At that point, other players are trying to scramble, trying to see what they can do to help him out. 
That was fantastic defense by Andrew, and pretty good defense by Ilya as well. He gets beat right here. However, fantastic help side defense by Ethan to contest that shot. And because he was able to contest that shot, Ethan also gets that rebound, keeps that ball away, gets that outlet pass to Armin, which is fantastic. That ball then goes to Armin, goes off camera for just a bit, but Armin was able to get that assist, as we can see here, to Andrew for the layup. Fantastic sequence. If we can continue to turn defense into offense with fantastic help side defense, getting that rebound after they miss that contested layup or shot, and staying there after going in to contest that shot, staying in to try to get that rebound, getting positioned to get that rebound, and then keeping your head up to outlet that ball. The other outlet man on this side needs to continue down court if the outlet man on this side gets that ball because at that point Armin here is keeping his head up and if Andrew in this case is wide open which he was down court he's able to get that basket this is fantastic fantastic defense to offense transition in this next clip we got a quick turnover and after we got that turnover John Luca did a fantastic job he noticed that Jermaine down in the low block was wide open we basically have a four on two situation so there has to be at least two players open. This man here is essentially guarding these two guys. He's doing a pretty good job of it. And of course, this man is guarding John Luca pretty good as well. Fantastic, fantastic defense, nice and low. However, John Luca has the eyes and he's able to get that ball over to Jermaine. And Jermaine's able to get that basket, in my opinion, an and one because I'm biased. Again, I am huge on not allowing the other team to call a play. You need to pressure that ball, and that's what Andrew is doing here. This is fantastic defense. Look at how he is moving his feet. He's moving his feet. He's keeping his hands up, which is fantastic, which then contested that air ball. Watch how he's able to transition. He takes one running step, and then he's able to stay squared up with his man. You don't want to take multiple running steps. You only want to be able to take one running step and then get squared up with your man once again. He was able to get to the spot and cut off that man to force him back the opposite direction. He's still playing him straight up. He's not giving this guy an angle. And because of that, he's able to stay with that man, use his body to angle where he wants that man to go and because he's using his body he's able to stay with that man as well by moving his feet you do not want to allow that man to get past you moving your feet is going to allow you to do that and not using your hands at this point this player has picked up the ball and Andrew's able to get his hand up just to contest it he's not fouling that player whatsoever and I would have preferred it a bit higher so Andrew if you're watching this get your hand just a bit higher because then you could have actually got that block sometimes when you get your arm a bit too low the referees may call it however fantastic defense I cannot complain about that he is one of my defensive stoppers this is also great defense by Armin as well, staying squared up with his man, moving his feet, staying with that man, and then of course forcing that turnover out of bounds. One huge mistake a lot of kids will make is they will try to reach in, especially when these players are attacking on offense and they have this ball really wide. It's almost like a target they want to try and hit with their hand, and as soon as you reach, that player is going to teach. You don't want to use your hands, you want to use your hips, and you want to use your feet to continue continue with them because at that point they may get a turnover now when the other team's running a zone defense you really want to swing that ball now we would like to swing this ball a bit quicker but Armin was able to get that ball over to the other side quick enough to be able to get Isaiah a three-point shot so as soon as he makes or gets this ball he should be looking to pass right away there was zero players over there but he took that dribble to try to get a little bit of a better angle so I understand why he did that however that one dribble could have cost him a turnover it didn't he was still able to get that assist but that quicker pass would have been beneficial in this play we are kind of clogging up the corner we really want to try and get that ball out of the corner as much as possible that's where they're generally going to be trying to double team you however we do get that ball through to John Luca. He is a very powerful, beast like player. And of course, in about two years, this will turn into a big two handed dunk. But at this point, it's just a layup. I hope that this video has helped you become a better team, a better coach, a better player, whoever's watching this. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.